dry of hair, my bun's just kind of chopped off a little bit. Today's video is going to be three DIY gift ideas for your mum and grandma, any, any loved one, but mainly for your mum, as I got these gifts for my mum on her birthday about one or two days ago, and she really, really loved them, and that they were like thoughtful, and she, she did really like them, so I highly recommend that you do them too, because every mum on this planet, more or less, would rather have their children DIY something for them, rather than just pay, pay loads of money and buy it, and these are relatively inexpensive as well, so I do hope that you use some of them if you do send me a picture on Instagram, or Snapchat, or wherever, and if you do enjoy this video as you're watching it, give it a thumbs up, and maybe even subscribe as that would make me rather happy. On to the video, I do hope that you enjoy it anyway. You can only hear my voice now, hello. This first DIY is a 10 reasons why I love you jar and I really enjoyed making this so I hope you do too if you decide to do it. All you're going to need is a jar of any size, some scrapbook paper, some accessories to decorate it with, a pen, some scissors, some hot glue and also some spray paint. I'm not too sure what brand the spray paint is but if you can find as many keywords as you can on the packaging and google it, it should come up. That's what I do with song lyrics anyway and it normally works. After that I proceeded to spray paint my jar and I do realise that I was getting spray paint on my fingers and it's not great to get it on your fingers so try to wear gloves. Once that is dried, it took about two hours to dry in my garage, then just trace around the lid on your decorative scrapbook paper or wrapping paper and then cut it out. Quick tip, when you're cutting it out, cut it out smaller than you actually drew it on just so it will fit on the lid perfectly. So I stuck that on with my hot glue gun but it was very very hard because it burnt my fingers a lot. Now it's onto the fun part, you can decorate it however you wish, you can let your creativity run wild. Or is it imagination? I'm not too sure, I've probably butchered it, but I'm going to go with creativity because it sounds better. So I decided to use a light pink ribbon because I felt like it complemented the blue spray paint on the jar very well. And I do realise that using these two colours makes it look very girly, but it's a Mother's Day DIY video, so it's got to be a bit cheesy. So to cover up the imperfection where the two ends meet, I just used a square pearl to cover up that imperfection. So I just made sure that was stuck on well and good and then using another piece of scrapbook paper I just cut out an arch because it matched the shape of the jar and just stuck it across the front and I wrote I love you because I didn't have a lot of room to write 50 reasons why I love you so I just put I love you on the front and also again I didn't have much room on the lid so I just stuck a light blue polka dot button on top. Now, on the inside, put really nice messages inside to give to your mums to reasons why you love her. So I put things like, I love your pasta, uh, you smell nice, you have the best laugh, and it's just a really, really nice idea. Next up, we have a few of my favourite things basket. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm still going to go into detail anyway because it's a DIY video after all. All you're going to need is a plain basket. I got mine from Asda and it was £6. And inside, you need to put a few of your mum's favourite things. My mum loves snacker jacks because they're low in calories. She needed some new candles for the table because the other ones had already burnt out. She loves her cosy socks for keeping warm in the winter time, especially in England. And I got her some dark blue nail polish because dark blue is her favourite colour and she needed some nail polish. This next one is extremely cheesy but your mum will absolutely love it, guaranteed. All you're going to need for this is coloured pencils, scrapbook paper, some ribbon, scissors and some glue. So all I did was I began with drawing around my hand on some scrapbook paper. My hand just about fit. And you need to do this to both hands as well. And then after that, you need to proceed to cut out your hands so you have two life-size hands of yours. Then, take another piece of scrapbook paper, or the same piece, and just cut out two strips. Or if it's a big piece of paper, just one strip will do. I'm gonna be honest, not too sure how to describe this. But kind of fold the paper one way and fold it again the other. I'm sure you did it in primary school or preschool and it gives you this zigzag design. Then glue both strips together to make an even longer strip so you can love your mum even more. You'll know what I mean in a moment. Now take each end of your now very long strip and glue it to the centre of each hand. 
it might be a bit confusing at the minute but it'll make sense as to what it's going to become in a minute i then wrote i love you on one hand and this much on another and if you want to make this your mom's actual card you could write something along the lines of to mom happy mother's day i love you for um whatever your name is a eh? but who is a we shall never find out until the final episode of the final season of pretty little liars Pretty Little Liar fans, I know you're out there. Say hello in the comments section below. We are a huge family now. So anyway, when your mum opens the card, it will go, I love you this much. And if you want to be funny and take the mic a bit, you can make the strip inside really, really long. So it'll be like, I love you this much. And it'll be very, very much. Anyway, that is the end of today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely love filming DIY videos, so I enjoyed filming it. Don't forget to show your mum some love this Valentine's Day. I love you all, have a wonderful day and don't forget to stay positive. Bye guys!